Did you know you can embed an entire web page inside of a Notion page? Well, I'm here to show you how with another Notion quick tip. Tasia like Fantasia here, and let's dive in. Okay, to add a web page into your Notion workspace or into a Notion page, what you want to do is go ahead and find that website URL, copy it, click back into your Notion page, and hit paste. And when this option comes up, go ahead and select the create embed option. And what that's going to do is actually embed the entire website into your Notion space. So let's say I'm doing something where I wanted to pull some information about Marie from her website, like I'm adding her contact info to the C my CRM or background info to my CRM. And I want to just jot down some notes based on her website, but I don't want to keep clicking back and forth between them. I could always temporarily add in the web page to my Notion page while I'm making edits and then delete it when I'm done with it. One thing to note when you do embed a full web page inside of your Notion page, it does take a little bit longer to load. So just something to be aware of. And let's say maybe I am reading this blog article and I want to take notes directly on my Notion page. That's another great use case where you can go into Notion, create it as an embed, and then what I always do is I do full width. This way I can scroll through and read the article. Expand that a little bit more. But you can go through, read the article, and underneath, start taking some notes. And that's another great use case for taking notes if you don't want to do the split screen or if you're on a laptop or something with a small screen and you can't do the side by side view because it takes up too much screen real estate. This is a great way that you can embed it directly in your Notion page to take notes from whatever web page you are browsing. Now, there are some websites where the embed just doesn't work and all it does is provide a link, but for a lot of websites out there, you can actually embed them directly in your Notion page. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this Notion quick tip. And if you like this one, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for the next Notion quick tip, which is going to show you an interesting way to use this Notion hack. Stay creative.